need to plug myself in. This doesn't, this doesn't really work that way. Okay, let's try it. Is that better? I hope that's better. Two. Oh, there's a centipede on my wall. That's gross. Summer's gone, I'm latching on. Don't even know your name. Hey guys, it's Manda the CMA here. Finally, finally, <laughs> after almost one year, actually, I think. It has been over a year since my last video that is officially posted right now. I had posted something to Instagram saying that I was going to be coming back, but I wanted to let you guys know about what's going on in my life. Everything is so different right now and it's a very positive different for me. It's kind of hard to explain in a nutshell, like super fast, like like that's it no that's not it's not it so um, if you guys want to find out what's been going on in my life what I've been doing for the past year my one-year hiatus that I've taken then keep watching and you'll find out first off I did want to thank all of you out there you guys don't know how big of an impact you are on my life and the positive stuff don't think that I forgot about you over that one year that I was gone I was definitely reading comments sometimes even commenting back when I had a little bit of time in between the busyness that I had going on when I posted that Instagram video saying that I was coming back and I was gonna explain a little bit about my life and where I had been you guys were just like, man, where have you been? We are so excited to have you back. And that was every single comment that I had on there. And it was really cool. So getting right to the point, um, the biggest thing is that I got a divorce. I just come right out and say it. And I think that's the biggest and strongest thing that someone can do, especially at my age. It's hard for people to understand when you're so young, I see myself as young. I don't know about all of you. You don't know how old I am. <laughs> but it's so hard to try and explain yourself. And the hard part is, the even harder part, I should say, is you shouldn't have to explain yourself. You shouldn't explain why a divorce happens. So I don't expect any sorries. There actually shouldn't be any sorries. There's no sorries when it comes to a divorce. It's something that needs to happen. It's something that would make both parties more happy. Just, it's life. Life gets lifey. After that, I moved and hour and a half away from my job and I would drive there every single day. I did not care. I love what I do so much. I want to be somewhere that I'm happy and I want to be happy doing it. I really thought about where I was going in life, what I wanted to do with my life and I was really lost at that time. You know, um, when you've been with someone for as long as I was, there's little pieces of you that are missing and you need to kind of recreate and redo yourself and, and fill in yourself with pieces of you and you need to become independent. There were things that I needed to do and I wanted to stay at my job so I ended up moving again to my parents house. Mom was super excited to have me home for a while. It was definitely a little bit of a change. Dad was kind of confused at why I was home. What the heck? Like get out of my house. You're, you're old enough to where you don't need to be at home. After that two months I was like that's it, like I cannot be here anymore. I found my own place. So now I am living in Minneapolis and I love it. Along the whole situation that I had, I had met one person and met a couple more people and decided that they had a lot going on in their lives and they were trying to change themselves. And it really causes a, a chain reaction of, you looking at yourself too and saying, what can I change? What would make me a better person? What big changes in my life can I make? You're, you're never done being a work in progress. I've been really trying to work on myself before I came and presented myself to you guys again. Wiped the dust off of all my all my uh, video stuff and, and got to roll in. One of the biggest things that I've changed is that I stopped drinking alcohol. People are gonna be like, whoa, 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 hold on a second, Amanda, did you have a problem? It wasn't because of a problem or something like along that line. I decided that with my current situation and the big changes that are going on in my life, I needed to change something big in order to make myself change for the better and make myself what I want to be. Even though they say that wine is good for you, I don't know, it gives me acid reflux so I cannot drink wine anyway. If you really take a look around, that's 
a huge thing. That's a huge thing for our society. In the morning, you drink your coffee. When you get home, you wait for that time that you're like, okay, I can have my one glass of wine. That gives me heartburn, I don't do that. Don't expect that I'm gonna give up coffee though. If you ever hear me say that in a video, then I have completely lost my mind. Please shut off my channel, that is not, that is not right, I cannot give up coffee. With everything that's gone on, I have a lot of things that I do wanna achieve. I've actually set a lot of goals for myself, so it's a little bit of a change from before. You know, you should never be satisfied with life. You can be content with life, I think, but being satisfied with where you are and not trying to move forward, not trying to set goals for yourself, it seems like a very stagnant life. So I have a lot of things that I have coming up. This weekend, I am actually going with my friend to Duluth we are going to Bentleyville. If you guys have never heard of Bentleyville, it's a big, huge Christmas park. Then we're gonna go cut down our own Christmas trees. In a couple weeks, I have a trip planned to Chicago. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something new. It's gonna be something new. So the biggest one that I am so excited for is Washington DC. It's for a full week and I'm volunteering. When I was told how much exactly they raise for these different organizations, I was completely blown away. That's kind of where I am right now. I'm thinking that that explains a little bit of where I've been. You never know what moving three times in one year is really gonna do to you and you've got all of that crazy other stuff going on in between. Hopefully you guys like my video today. Hopefully it was not too long for you and you learned a couple things, but I will see you in my next video. So follow me on Instagram and you will find out when that video will be posted. I'm doing a lot of things with my hands. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> bye guys.